Before getting to Cartagena, we had uh, some YouTube followers, Peter and Simone, reach out to us and offer to take us out on their brand new Lagoon 400 catamaran. Lagoon catamarans are of course not known for their sailing performance, so we were really intrigued to see how the sailing would actually be. And this episode is all about that day, so we did a lot of filming and we also concluded with our thoughts at the very end. So um, that's what today's episode will be about. We'll be back with our regular sailing vlogs next week. Middle of the road It's just a feeling of a distant melody unknown I was doing fine I minded my own business Till the day you took me home You came into my life No? <laughs> You're in the corner I'll put a bit over that way There we go easy to film babe <laughs> So firstly, thank you to Peter and Simone for today. That was a really nice day out. We have seen, actually that's 
realistically, apart from a trip up the Thames, was my first ever sail ever. First time I've been on a catamaran. Well, it was literally my first time on a catamaran. Okay, well, briefly, what do you think? Well, a couple of things. Uh, obviously, anyone who's followed our channel for any length of time knows that we uh, talk, especially in our live feeds, about potentially getting a catamaran for our next boat. Hang on, should we be talking about it while this boat can hear us? <laughs> Sorry, boat, I love you. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, so, kind of with that in mind, uh, we had some lovely followers uh, reach out to us and, and say that we're going to be in Cartagena together and would we like to go out for a sail on their lagoon, brand new lagoon. I think they, they bought it earlier this year. Yep. And um, so of course we said yes, that would be lovely and the stars aligned and here we are. And so a few things I was worried about. I was concerned that the motion would be uncomfortable coming from sailing a monohull. Uh, and I, I mean, look, we have a 38 foot monohull. It's not like it's, you know, kind of a 60 foot boat that is probably going to be quite uh, stable most of the time anyway. We do, we're, we're heavy, but you know, at the end of the day, we are a monohull that um, responds to the conditions. And uh, sometimes it can be quite uncomfortable on board. But I was concerned that a catamaran would be a different motion that I wouldn't get on with. Um, and I am very pleased to report that uh, even though it was quite choppy outside, um, and what what kind of wind strength? I didn't wasn't at the 15 home, knots. About 15 knots. So we had, yeah, not nothing crazy, um, but certainly enough of a breeze to kind of give you an idea of what it would be like sailing it kind of most of the time. And it was fine. Um, from yeah, a motion point of view, it was absolutely fine. Um, there was a little bit of uh, slamming, um, which Simone and Peter said was the first time they'd ever experienced that. Um, the chop, it was quite choppy. That it was kind of quite a short swell period, wasn't it? So yes. <laughs> I'm just wondering why I said keep it brief when you seem to be. I enjoy your diatribes. Continue. Well, good, because I very much enjoy your many, many diatribes. So yes, I, I did, I enjoyed it and I thought... Just, just wait and keep going. Jesus, I like it. <laughs> well, I think that I've made my point. I thought the motion was, um, was, was really comfortable or relatively comfortable and I was impressed by the sailing performance as well. Okay. Full stop, you can go on your diatribe now. No, no, I'm going to keep it brief. First catamaran we've really been on. Um, again, really... It's nice from an owner to get the perspective from an owner rather than someone who's trying to sell it to you. Mm. Um, I think it's without saying like I'm hedging my bets here. I definitely want to explore sailing other catamarans. Yes. I want to try. Yeah. You know, so that's that's where we're going to go with this. Mm. I it, this is the second boat actually we've been on in a week. We went on Distant Shores three, the seventy four eighty. We didn't sail that one. No, but we've been on that to have a look mm. around that, mm. and we've now been around this Lagoon four hundred. Mm. Um, overall, which would I rather live on? Definitely the Lagoon. Yes. If, you know, we spend from talking to friends. You know, for Liverpools tend to spend ninety percent of their time at anchor yeah. and ten percent sailing. Mm -hmm. From a living point of view, absolutely, the catamaran. Yes. From the point of view of sailing, mm -hmm. monohull. Yes. It, overall, I would mm -hmm. always take a monohull. The monohull is a better sailor. It feels. I, I know it's not like. Sometimes you know, you're kind of trying to get used to a, a new boat, and you're kind of like, am I used to this? Is it does it feel yeah. right? Does it you know? I, I don't know where anything is. Mm -hmm. I thought the catamaran was very easy to sail. Yep. I'm a monohull sailor and yep. I love the fact that I know I can feel the boat, I can feel yes. the boat tension, I can feel I can feel the wind pick it, yep. pick up the you know, pick up the sails, I yep. can feel it the healing motion. And I can understand very easily when I when we sail how adjusting sail trim mm -hmm. affects performance. Yeah. Yeah. This is just like You're just kinda of going by numbers. What the bloody hell's going on yeah, here? Yeah. However, it's definitely something I want to put, I really want to explore. I yeah. think I'd like to try Fontaine Pajot. I definitely want to try Antares and I want to try some other catamaran manufacturers mm -hmm. to see what's there. But, you know, in looking for our new boat, I mean, yeah, I, said it's, I don't really want this boat to listen to her, mm -hmm. but, you know, she'll get an amazing new owner. Mm -hmm. um, in, in exploring it, I definitely think it hasn't, it hasn't put me off, put it that way. No. If anything, it's encouraged me. I think we both came off that boat thinking, wow. That, that was great. Look at the space, yeah. look mm -hmm. at the livability. What is the compromise we're going to make? Sailing performance, absolutely, definitely. Yes. The only thing I will not compromise on is safety. Well, sailing performance, yes and no. I think that um, you, I mean, they're, they're a 40-foot boat. We're a 40-foot boat or roundabout. 
And they were very easily getting, what, seven, when they had their code zero up, what were they getting, about seven, eight knots? Yeah, look, I like the way... We the, wouldn't get that in these conditions. No, I, I love the way the boat was set up. I mm. do like the way the boat, set, the boat was set up. And, yeah, look, it, the boat, it does fly along. Mm. Look, as I've said to you before, 40-foot monohull, 40-foot catamaran, if you've got the wind on the beam, you can't beat the catamaran. You've got the wind forward of the beam. Yes, of course. It's just points of sail. Yeah. And but that was a really interesting experience, and I think for us it, it's the first time we've ever done it. It's yes. the first time we've been on a catamaran, yes. and from here on in, I think it's, we can explore it all. You know, we don't make decisions, especially when it comes to our next boat. Mm -hmm. We don't make them lightly. No. And I think it's a really good staging ground to go to the next stage. And yeah. so, if anyone out there's got a Fontaine Pajot or an Antares, and we meet up, we would love to come sailing with you. We'll buy you dinner or like. I don't know what else we can, but yeah, so uh, that's what we'd love to do. So th yeah. thank you for that. Um, thank you for watching this episode. It's kind of a bit technical, but not technical. It's not even sure where it's going to go <laughs> in the great canon of all the stuff we put out. But um, we were super excited and super grateful to Peter and Simone for letting us see their boat, yes. their home. And uh, we've had a, we had a lovely lunch with them and we're going to go and have dinner with them now. So um, there'll be an icon somewhere up there or there to subscribe. We will be back with our usual irreverent look at sailing life soon. Is that your um, anti-diatribe? <laughs> That's me. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.